Hello my friends, and welcome to the channel for the second half of my Valheim Mistlands journey, where we ascended from the ranks of lowly Viking adventurers to become battle mages, hardened warriors, and slayers of the fearsome Queen of the Mistlands, the strongest opponent in all of Valheim. In our first forays into the Mistlands, we quickly discovered this new locale was a harsh and unforgiving place that can quickly degenerate into a death spiral at a moment's notice, and not a place that you want to tread lightly or walk alone. After our first days in the Mistlands, spent desperately seeking some kind of safety, we eventually started to get things a little bit figured out, at least enough to sort of understand what we needed to do to exploit new resources and acquire new gear, food, and abilities, starting with the creation of the coolest looking craft crafting station in Valheim, the Eider Refinery, which creates refined Eider that's used to craft basically all of the new armor, weapons, and magic staves. Okay, let's see this thing. Oh, hot damn. Right? That, that's Frankenstein's <laughs> fucking laboratory right there. Here you go, my boy. What Check those out. Refined Eider. No room in English right here. For your troubles. Nice. Oh, that's enough for a chicken. I'm going yeah, to buy a chicken. Breastplate. Jotunbane. Oh, look at all of this stuff. So yeah, you're right. We probably have right. to... Add, okay, add sap to get eider, and then we use that in the crafting. We need to add Food the sap the and the flesh yeah. from the guys, so we're oh, going to have to go flesh. farm dwarves. Yeah. Where do you add the flesh? Up at the top oh, where that ladder is on the side. Did yeah. you build the ladder, or did it come with it? No, I built it. Okay. Ugh, that's kind of Now that we understood what we needed to start making new gear, we had a plan and things started to all fall into place. We'd already been gathering sap from the roots of Yggdrasil, but soft tissue was sort of a mystery to us. So we just started farming dwarves, feeding the refinery, farming some more dwarves, and feeding the refinery some more. It was a bit of a slow process, but then we found something that made this whole thing a lot easier. We didn't actually need to kill the individual dwarves, they were just storing this soft tissue in crates scattered around their camps. Oh, there's a bunch of flesh up here. Oh yeah? By a bunch, I mean three. Oh, whatever. Oh, actually, no, there's a bunch. This must have been where they were getting... Oh, oh my god. Boxes. It, the boxes, dude, yeah. The boxes. Oh, oh, yes. There's so many of those in the dungeon, dude. Yeah, there is. After we figured this out, off we went. Traveling to every dwarf encampment that we could find in the Mistlands, smashing crates, gathering tissue, harvesting sap, going for a nap, gathering some more tissue, moving the extractors, farming some more sap, feeding the refinery, and repeating that cycle until we had enough refined eider to fully kit ourselves out in brand new upgraded armor and weapons. Okay, yeah, two exactly. therapist breastplate coming right up. I'm so excited, dude. Yeah. Uh, needs, I can upgrade one of them. Um, no, 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 yeah. we'll just save okay. and make the rest okay. of the armor. Okay. I think. Here you go, Sal. Okay, what does this have for armor? Armor 32. Armor 32, it's the same, but... But we can upgrade it four times. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Now that we were strong enough to take on the threats of the Mistlands without getting bullied into submission, we had a pretty clear goal. Find the queen, kill the queen, and become the lords of the Mistlands. And as luck would have it, we just so happened to stumble right into a dungeon that looked a bit different from the rest of the dwarven mines that we'd explored. And after clearing it, we would be one step closer to finding the queen and achieving our goal. Oh my god, dude. What? I see it. Do you see how there's the two yellow things on the doorway? Uh, no, I can't. Okay, come with me. Oh, yeah, yeah, us there. I can see. I just see your west plate was in the way. I'm really hoping we get four more. <gasps> I fell straight down. Watch it when you come in. Oh, shit. Actually, I guess you probably should come down yep. with me. I don't know. Yep. Oh, there's definitely a seeker through this gate. Okay. We can just go through there. Yeah. Oh, of course. Star. I'm gonna, I'm gonna slow him. Back out. 
stairs. Up the stairs, up the stairs, up yeah, the stairs, yeah, up the stairs, yeah, you're gonna yeah. block me. Killed one. Just getting this out of the cross. Oh, so Randy. Okay. Well, that was a clusterfuck, but we got it. We got her, dude. There's two more. Yeah, the frost arrows? Yeah, we're gonna have to go on a Drake hunting excursion one of these days. Mm hmm. It is nice that you like. Oh, dude. Do... Beg Vizier, the Queen. Register really? location. Hella far southwest. Hella far southwest. Oh, that's cool. So, this wasn't a cathedral, but it did have the stone. I wonder if that mm -hmm. outer appearance is a indication that the stone is in it. After making this discovery, we set about making some preparations for our final outing. We hunted hares for fresh meat and cooked fresh food. We set more extractors and harvested more sap. We found new dwarven colonies and robbed them of their stockpiles. We fed the refinery each day, fought battles to gather materials, and plotted a course across the ocean to find the queen on her island near the world's edge. And eventually, we were ready. The queen was quite a fight, easily the most intense boss battle in Valheim. My friend changed his loadout to become a battle mage while I stuck to the heavy armored tank role, holding the front line with my shield and sword while he threw fireballs and shielded us from damage. The entire fight took us 39 minutes to complete, but I've cut it down to around 8 minutes here to show the process of beating her and our strategy without just dumping 40 minutes of raw footage onto the end of this video. Vested Citadel. Okay. Holy gotta, shit. We gotta go and find all the secret eggs and find them out. Whoa. Oh. Oh shit, the queen <clears throat> wants it all. Wonder if, like, we just got too close or if that thing fucked it up. Holy I'm fuck, my boy. Outside. Dude, she is nuts yeah. how big she is. Okay, there's there's seekers that come out of the walls? Yeah. What the fuck, That's dude? The said is to try and go around and kill all the eggs first. Okay, I'm gonna die here, I think. Should we just leave? Yeah, probably. What was right here? Yeah. No, no, no. Stuck. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Yeah, it's pretty wild in there. Get up to the second floor and clear out as many seekers. Let's sit jump along here. I'm getting slow. Why am I slow? I'll call for shield, yeah. and then we'll come together on, on the call. I'm, I'm going to try and pull the Seekers. I can AoE them down pretty easily. Yeah. 
shield. Oh, I'm, I'm so it's okay, I'm gonna kite, I'm gonna kite. Yep. Coming for the shield on you. No shield. way it didn't go off on me. Fighting her there, I'm gonna come down for the bubble on you. Sleepers on the right. Okay. down because there's lots of are you dead dead yeah, yeah. dude what the fuck just happened she like teleported oh do you ever kind of crank up the table yeah I don't know what happened, dude. She just, like... Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. Are you okay? Yeah. I just need my pants on. She caught me you with can my run pants out. down, so to speak. I'll get them. Keep kiting. Keep kiting. Keep kiting. <clears throat> Never gets old. Great. I've got her fucking rhythm down pretty much on the attacks. Yeah, you have. You it's got it like really well. It's just like some of them have like Dark Souls 2 hitboxes. Seeker. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Oh, please. Oh, God. I hate these fucking things. Yeah, bitch. She hit my shield off. Oh, that don't hurt. Come back for the shield on. Yeah, I'm still good. Yeah. I got him. Seconds on this. Seekers? Yeah. I got two of them. Okay, you're here. Fire should kill him. Good. Screwed. Like the sheer amount better this boss's animations are than any of the other ones, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Like, actually moves fast, attacks pretty smooth. This does feel like Dark Souls made in the year 1997. Got him. Oh, the head. Oh, you're dead, bitch. Yeah, we got this, bitch. And there's the Mistlands. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Cool. The queen drop. Here we are again, back to the placeholder items. <laughs> that was honestly less, way less frustrating hard than Bone Mass or Yaglith. Yeah, I agree. I'd say like Yaglith and this one are probably the best ones in terms of design. All right. Well, I will see you in about a year. <laughs> <laughs>After beating the Mistlands, I can safely say that this expansion is indeed a pretty ambitious step forward for Valheim, 
and all the way through it really kept me looking forward to what we might discover next. It's not for the faint of heart, and it takes a lot of preparation and good decision making to complete, but in the end, it's very much worth it, and we felt pretty accomplished. The new gear is great, the new magic system is quite useful, and opens up an entirely new playstyle to the game. If the devs can keep up this level of improvement in future biomes, then we have a lot of really amazing adventures waiting in store for us down the road. I'm not really sure what comes next for our Valheim adventure right now. We're in the process of building a castle in the Mistlands to celebrate our victory, but in the future, I look forward to doing some fresh runs and escorting other adventurers through the Mistlands on their first journey. Have you had a chance to check out the Mistlands yet, or are you waiting for the official release after the test servers have cleared up some of the bugs? If you've been into the Mistlands, how's the adventure been so far? Have you been treating the dwarves as friends and allies, or conquering them and making their resources your own? Thanks for checking out the video. I've got links to my Twitch channel and Discord server down below for anyone interested. And until next time, stay safe out there in Valheim.